Good afternoon. Um, never fails. So as soon as I pulled into my driveway, I got another call. This one's a no heat, six year old furnace apparently. It's a new customer. I don't think we've been there. Um, so I'm gonna head there, see what we can do. But uh, for those guys out there, isn't that lovely? You finish your calls, you drive, you, you do a couple things. As soon as you pull in your driveway and step out with food for the family on top of that, you get a call. You gotta love uh, on call. I mean, it's my last day of it. <clears throat> and then uh, back on the normal rotation tomorrow. But uh, I can't complain. This week has been fairly easy. It's not that, uh, it's about 32 Fahrenheit, so it hasn't been overly busy. So we'll see what we can do uh, when we get there, get some footage, and uh, we'll see what we got. the main switch? Yeah, okay. okay. And I closed this switch. Okay, let's put that on. And then if you could go, to, if you don't mind, go to the thermostat and knock it up real warm. Yeah, okay. All right, so I got a pressure switch ordeal here. Two two seven, low pressure switch open during trial. All right, I'm just gonna jump out this switch. So the air code that was given was air two two seven, low pressure switch open. Half moon switch, very common on this model to uh, fail. I'm going to pull the air codes on this one. Five as well, which is high pressure switch fail open. Two seven one soft locking.
right, guys, so I know it's the pressure switch because they're so common on these, but I'll just teach the guys that might not know. Um, you always want to verify that your draft is okay by teeing into these switches. Okay, so you got a negative and a positive. What we're simply going to do is T into those to watch the draft. Just to make sure the inducer is doing its job. You know, that the venting is free from obstructions, etc. Same thing goes for this guy on the positive side. Just like that. I have one pounding headache today. I do not know why. Another thing I'm just going to tap into This right here, I don't know if that'll fit, but we can go from the back side. So I'm just going to put my voltage in here to show you what's happening. is good so far. The switch is rated at 0.4 and 0.8 or 0.4 and 0.7 I should say. It's calling. Right now I'm tapped into my high switch. <coughs> Alright, so my draft is Definitely good for my low side. I mean, it's 0.35 above what's needed. So we're just going to wait for the second gear to kick in. There's second gear. More than enough is needed for this, but you can see what's happening here, okay? That's my switch popping in and out, so we have a bad switch. Alright, so that's how you verify it. Check your draft, make sure your draft's always good. If you have the right enough draft, then check your switch, okay? And you can check it either way. Some guys do continuity tests. I do a voltage reading on it. Um, but that's basically it. You'll have to tee into your switch to watch your draft. Typically, you know, you want to be... think almost double what the draft should be maybe not double but there's certain amount. so there you have it guys I'm gonna install the new switch okay so I got the new switch in I must say these jumpers I got off Amazon for like 11 bucks they're long 
they got these teeth right on the tip of them. I don't know if you could see that. They hook on really tight. Like I'm pulling on that and nothing's coming off there. They're called croc clips. Anyways. I don't know why that... I don't remember turning off that furnace switch. I must have hit it. With my hand. Hopefully this is the last one. I'll spend some time with the family. Give me that fire. to go on the second gear and while I do that I'm gonna clear the board history hold this down I know I tell the guys but they always forget release your finger now it displays the airs hold it down again wait until you see C let go hold it down again until you see zero, 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 release. Board history is cleared. Fresh start. Switch is going. No clicking in and out. That's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. See you on the next one. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit